Right, hi there. Uh, I thought I'd talk about, um, have a little bit of a blog. Um, I'm sitting on the floor, if you're wondering why there's a chair behind me like this. Because um, um, I thought we'd talk about life. And I'm interested, um, as this is going on Tube Addicts, and it has a bigger audience, there's a lot more subscribers, more people watching. So that's why I thought a blog would be appropriate, because um, it enables a bit of interaction. Interaction? Yeah, even that word. Um, between subscribers and uh, Tube Addicts. And I was wondering what people's opinion is on what they think uh, life is, well anything generally about life, please leave your comments down below. Even better, uh, make a uh, video response, uh, they're always good. Uh, so you can get your point across, because I know this is a subject, it's one of those subjects where a lot of people have uh, various opinions on it, usually varying from one scale to the other. Uh, not only what the, uh, people's opinions of life is, what is also what do people think is the most important thing in life uh, to them. Uh, my bone of contention that I've often mentioned a lot of times on here and in my stories, poems, dramatic verse, whatever you want to call them, is the idea or philosophy that uh, we uh, choose the life we live in the sense that if you believe in religion, if you believe in God, then God uh, in various religious texts has given uh, freedom to mankind, given him free will to be able to sin or to do good and then to be judged upon that. Uh, obviously if there wasn't free will then it wouldn't be fair. Obviously God has a certain amount of uh, saying some of this and pl plotting some of how our lives are, but uh, to a certain degree we are uh, free. If you don't believe in God uh, then of course we have complete freedom in the sense that we decide what we do and uh, so therefore either way we choose how we live and yet if we look how we live on this planet you know we have people who are starving and they've been starving for uh, hundreds of years and they're still starving today in what is a technologically advanced civilized um, world and a, and a smaller world by we have communication with everyone and everything and this planet has enough food I think scientists say for like 60 billion people there's only 6 billion so you know actual amounts there is plenty but obviously the countries are divided people are divided and we choose or we have inherited a life that we're living in um, and yet we should have well we do in a certain, well, by rights we have the choice of how we live, but because we um, have a hierarchy of power where we have different ranks, obviously those who have the power actually have the choice, uh, whereas those who don't, don't really, unless they go to get that power by becoming politicians, etc. Um, so really it's up to those with the power to make the change. Obviously to make the change into living in a life where we all work for each other, we work for the planet, we work for mankind rather than we work for money and trinkets um, which is what we do at the moment. We, you know, we make, we make hundreds of brands of fairy liquid and hundreds of brands of shampoo and you know excessive amounts of things just for competition, just, you know, is, is it really necessary? I mean, if you were working out an ideal society, if you have a way of making, although, you know, I know that by having all this competition means that you get better things and people start advancing because someone wants to make something better, but in the sense that do you need like 500 different brands of television? Why can we not just come up with what's the best one and that's it? and save pool on all these resources and the people and you know same with pharmaceuticals same with all the areas that mankind's involved with a lot of it is to do with money and competition and product as opposed to serving mankind and I know that's a utopian or communist whatever you want to call it 
uh, ideology. But that is my bone of contention with life at the moment, that we, it rules us rather than we rule it. Um, so I don't know what your opinions of that. Obviously, I know there's going to be various amounts of opinions on that kind of subject. Um, but it'd be interesting to know what you think, what you think the most important thing in life is. Obviously, to me, the most important thing to me uh, is love. Um, and love, obviously, has many different um, meanings, many different types of love. There's obviously what I would consider the, the most important personally to me is the love of... Uh, your partner, um, obviously the love uh, of God, then there's love of family, love of friends, you know, love in the way that you treat people, you know, it's, um, it's a way rather than an actual one particular type of thing. Um, so that would be what my most important thing in life is. What is yours? And um, how do you, th is, it, is it possible to, um, for you know, life to get better. Can we actually really make those changes? I mean, obviously we have advanced a long way, you know, especially in the last hundred years when you talk about integration, when you talk about race and all those types of things, we have advanced and we have got better. And so there is hope that we will eventually uh, come to a stage where we are more united and more thinking clearer of what our goal should be. Um, Getting money out of the aspect is the problem, uh, and it's, it's a big problem because, and, and it's also because it's all segregated different powers. How do you get everyone to agree? You know, if you get ten people in the room, it's very difficult to get them to agree. Imagine ten different le world leaders. Who's going to give up their throne? They've got the most to lose and the most to gain by keeping it the way it is, and that's why the status quo is kept. And then, of course, what is people's opinion on on life, as in the sense that um, do they believe in God? What do they think happens? Uh, is, is life just a one ticket ride? That's a nice phrase, isn't it? <laughs> In the sense that you, you're, you're born, you live, you die. Or do you believe that, um, like I do, that, um, that your life here is, uh, is a chance for you to, uh, this is Muslim for you obviously, to incubate your soul and for it to either get light or darkness depending on what you do uh, into the, the hereafter when you die and you're judged and that soul that you've um, you know almost like the human body is, is, is a womb for that soul that's growing by you know like a, a, a mother when she's having a child the baby's growing inside and all the nutrients that it gets is how that child is developed the same sense that in my body now is my soul and all the things I do good or bad are giving the nutrients to that soul so that it's either going to be uh, a, 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 you know, a good or a bad soul and, and obviously that's the destination I will go to. Do people believe in that, 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 that um, life is not just this, this place and that we do have another life after this? Um, I think that's enough to talk about. So I've given you some of my uh, blog opinions of what I think about life in its different forms and contexts and it'd be interesting to know uh, what you also think. Please leave your comments, uh, audio, video or uh, written. Um, video would be really good uh, but comments as text would be fine as well so it'd be interesting to know. Please try and keep them without, um, uh, without being derogatory if it's possible. Uh, obviously there's freedom of speech but let's keep it uh, sensible and, and try and explain your, if you want to put a radical or what might, people might consider radical then at least try and explain it so that it can be understood rather than just writing something that's explicit. Anyway that's all for me, uh, thank you for listening, uh, I hope this has been interesting and you, uh, it will give you a chance to give your input as well, other than that uh, take care, take it easy and peace.